Well, while you all keep on doing that, let's jump right into it. I want to mm, talk about so you, good. Candace, yes. and this music career, blossoming Ooh. music career. Uh, tell the people about your album and the Deep Space Tour. Yes, so I am going on tour with my first album, Deep Space. I'm also re-releasing Deep Space as a deluxe. So Deep Space Deluxe will be out this fall. I'm just like living in the moment. Like it's it's surreal. Last night we had one of our last rehearsals before the tour starts, which is next week. Uh huh. So my knees are a little sore today because I was <laughs> dropping like it's hot all afternoon, all evening. But it's just, I had like a moment in the rehearsal space. I was singing one of my songs, Win, which is a part of the tour, mm -hmm. and I just burst into tears. Like this is really happening. It's really happening. We're doing five cities: Philly, Chicago, Nashville, Atlanta, and ending in D.C. All right. All city wineries. To Tickets are still available. There are meet and greets available as well. So please come out if you can. I it's it's an amazing show. My band. Oh yes, I know. The bomb. The bomb, the bomb.com yes. actually. And you know what, Candace, one thing I appreciate about you because I've listened to the album, I actually interviewed you when yes. it first came out. This woman can really sing. Thank you. She can really, truly dance. <laughs> and the reason why I put the emphasis on that, because I think a lot of people who do reality uh, shows yeah. or even some actors and mm -hmm. actresses, athletes mm -hmm. even, mm -hmm. because they can, right. they do it, but there's no yeah. real actual talent And there. that takes a lot of gusto, too. And you like, a lot I of take hard work. A lot of hard work. I take nothing away from them. But I think this platform I wanted to use to get out what I really wanted, which was to be an artist, to be an actor, to be a singer, to be a performer. And I'm grateful that I'm able to use this crazy platform to do what I really want to do. Who are some of your musical influences? I think I know, but I want to hear from you. Okay, well, I'll tell you. <laughs> I think obviously one of my, the woman that I call my sister in song, Tony Braxton. Ah, that's what I was going to say. She, I literally, they called me Baby Tony mm -hmm. in college. I was in the Howard Gospel Choir in college, and I was Baby Tony. I was an alto, Anita Baker, mm -hmm. who actually reached out to me and is like, <gasps> like become like a fairy godmother auntie to me. Really? Like, that's a pinch me moment. I, like, it gives me chills to think about. Like, she, she watched the show. Wow. And she knew that I was a singer, and she just she just had words of encouragement. And so now I call her like, "What do I do? How do I finish this?" Like she's she's amazing. So that's a surreal moment mm -hmm. because I grew up studying her voice. Yes. And now she's like in my orbit. Yeah. Anita Baker does not hit you up unless you can sing, she, not sing, uh, but the sing. Legend. <laughs> like that's it's insane to think oh, about. But well, yes. congratulations to you. I'm excited Thank to you. see you soar. I mean, this Thank is a new you. dimension. It and is. You're going to do fantastic. Thank you. I really I see that. It.